Welcome back to Airbrush Review SA in conjunction with Pelagans.com. All the way from Turkey, Milani, you want to Milano? We got it. New air gun in South Africa, first to see. There we go. It's called the M1. Beautiful looking air gun. Look at that. All the way from Turkey, like I said. Basically, when you open it up, you get your full probe in there and two magazines, one in the gun and one in your packet. You get your Milano Arms user manual, which is quite basic. Tells you always remember the following precautions. Uh, it shows you your gun, which one you bought. We've got numerous models. We've got the M1, M3 and so on. Um, have a look at this. It even shows you how to fill the magazine, which is quite nice. And then the air tank diagram of how it looks on the air tube. So yeah, it's pretty basic and simple. So let's go into this gun here. On picking it up, it's got a little bit of a, a weight to it, not too heavy. Um, as you can see, it's got a adjustable comb piece at the back here. I see there's two holes that you can adjust it up or down, depending on what type of scope you've got on with the scope rings. So if it's high or low, depending on what you'd like. Um, if you have a look at this magazine that's put in here, it is very, low profile some of them are quite quite like how can i say sticking up quite high so you have to put on higher scope mounts this one you're generally not going to have to do that so your scope will clear it it's got a biathlon side cocking lever if you can have a look at that it, it feels really nice as well just to say to that i mean it's all aluminium it's no plasticky thingy is showing onto it the stock looks very well made um if you have a look at this nice it's a different type of stock configuration if i can call it that look at that something different and look how balanced it is in my hand if you if you can check it at that just see there so it's got a nice trigger as well um it is adjustable so you can adjust that trigger if you want to um it is quite nice to the hold it really feels well i see you got your full port right there and you've got your gauge in the front here, in the front. So this gun, you're gonna max, you can fill it up to 200 bar, um, 2,900 PSI. Um, definitely, you can put on a silencer on the front here if you need to. It's got a half inch UNF thread in the front. Uh, it's got a Picatinny and dovetail rail on the top. And then these magazines are a 10 shot magazine. So they slide out to the side. They're pretty nice and fixed inside here. They don't move that much around. So this magazine looks quite promising. So it doesn't have like a little window glossy that can break and so on. If you have a look at that, so it's a basic simple magazine. All you need to do is just put one pellet to the next one until all 10 is loaded. It has got an O-ring on the outside here to keep your pellets in. So depending on what slugs or whatever you're going to shoot through it, we don't know what uh, pellets. We'll probably try the JSB 18 grains and see the normal speeds that it shoots with. So yeah, let's um, take it out to 50 meters. We'll put on a Vortex um, Diamondback scope there. And yeah, let's check a five shot grouping at 50 meters. I'm pretty keen to see the first ever Milano um, M1 in South Africa to be fired right here at Pelagans.com. So we are at 50 meters, 54 yards, um, with the Milano M1, Milani, <laughs> just joking. But anyway, let's uh, take a five shot grouping there quickly and see what this thing can do. 877. Eight hundred seventy two. Eight hundred sixty one. Eight hundred seventy. Okay, so it's pretty consistent. It's just jumping a couple of feet per second. But if you have a look at that grouping down there through this uh, nice Vortex Diamondback that we've added onto this M1, because I mean, it looks pretty sleek on this gun. It is super clear if you don't, yeah, 
you can't can't imagine it's pretty clear but anyway um, it looks like I said looks pretty sleek on this gun this gun has got some different lines compared to the other type of um, air guns out there I mean just look at the stock design here it's something it's catchy to the eye and like I said it balances quite nicely at the bottom and totally I really like this gun the cocking is quite smooth one thing that I have noticed is when you cock the gun and you want to put this thing on safety you have to cock the gun to put it on safety otherwise if you have not cocked the gun it will not go into safe so if you cock it it will go to safety so uh, you can also decock the gun which is normal cock it and now let's say you don't want to fire um, take out the magazine and you can decock it then just remember you've got a pellet still stuck in the mag then you can load it shoot it out whenever and then reinstall your magazine but anyway it is quite loud if I can think to it you know without a silencer but if you put on a silencer it will then quieten it down you get about roughly about 40 to 50 shots on this setting um, from 200 bar down to 150 uh, you can go more but Generally, we shot it around about there. That's how many shots we got per full. So it's five magazines because the magazine is about 10. Um, every gun is different to its own. So yeah, go test out your one, the one that you get. They're coming at a really good price and very accurate. Let's go see at 50 meters the accuracy. Shot it with a JSB 18 grain at uh, 870 feet per second average. Eighteen grains. Let's go from center to center for the furthest one. It's 20.60 millimeters, which is not bad. That's a five shot grouping. That was my aim point and look how it just all packed there. So look, that's my thumb size. This is really not a bad grouping um, compared to for the price you pay for that gun. That gun is in a really good class. Obviously you can lead in your barrel, meaning you can shoot about a couple of pellets through just to let it in whereas I just took it shot a 10 shot grouping quickly just to give it a little bit of a leading which was right there so it isn't too bad and yeah then I just took another five so it's 15 shots out of that whole gun and we got it there generally when you start shooting with these guns um, your accuracy does get better as it lines the the, the barrel with the pellet lead and then you can get it tightening up the groups so have a look at that that's not bad for a brand brand new gun shot in South Africa Milano M1 all the way from Turkey okay we're gonna try the H&N slugs 23 grains uh, 218 size Five shot grouping on the gong down there at 50 meters, 54 yards. I'm not going to promise anything. They are going to shoot a bit lower with speeds, uh, generally because it's a heavier weight. But yeah, let's see what accuracy we can get out of them. Seven hundred forty-five. Not too bad. Was a little bit of a flyer there it looked like it that's my third shot that's my fourth seven hundred hmm. 240 to 54 754 feet per second really not bad with the 23 grainers let's go look down there on the range with the gong um, pretty promising yeah let's go have a look at 740 feet per second with the 23 grainers look at that that's more than an inch size but remember you're going to still have knockdown power so you can shoot slugs with this gun which isn't too bad so that is pretty a first for me um yeah look at that you can shoot pellets and slugs 
most people wanted to go through that same hole there but i mean give it go i think for this one there's two shots in that one 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 two three four five five shots not bad so that's the size of a pigeon that's a good one so that gun final impressions really for the price i think it's really good i mean everything is changing now in, uh, in the world of air gunning i mean the accuracy is becoming way better people could shoot slugs with these things out of normal barrels uh, it's just it's amazing it really is it's it's all up to you depending on what you guys like and the style of guns that you like come down here feel how it feels and then you make your decision but this gun I really also like I always say with all the guns that I've been shooting I haven't had one this far that I would say listen these things don't work because uh, we genuinely what we do is we bring them in uh, we test them out you know like the demo ones and see if they work and if they are worthy we then sell them we don't just buy the things and just sell it and then it's a piece of beep beep but yeah we don't do that so we, we make sure that it's okay to shoot I mean that is okay uh, other guys would say that is a bad grouping come on guys I mean this thing compared to a day state you can't compare apples to apples like that I mean look at the price that you pay that but I mean that is pretty good accuracy for the price you pay at you sure and it's amazing quality that you get out of these guns we do have parts and everything so we can assist you if anything has to break not to say the gun breaks but the people fiddle around with the guns and then they break the guns so obviously we're there to assist you to fix up whatever nonsense happened there but yeah thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one please like share and subscribe